Welcome back beer tubers. Time to look at another beer from Hangar 24 out in Redlands, California. And this is their Columbus IPA, 7% IPA. Assuming it's a single hop with Columbus. But uh, let's check it out. I already got it poured. Ended up getting like, uh, definitely over a finger of kind of off-white type of head. It's pretty hazy. It's got a nice orange color to it, so there's probably Decent amount of crystal malt. They do mention they use five different malts in this one. Let's get the nose. Yeah, smells like Columbus. Great smelling hop. I have had other single hop Columbus beers before, as well as having this beer before. And it's got that, It's Columbus has this nice kind of sweeter character to it, and then it has this really dank resinous character to it. It's almost like a sweet orange, um, almost like a marmalade character. Yeah, and then dank, resiny, sort of piney character. Uh, there is maybe a bit of a floral character on there. I'm getting almost like a like a wildflower honey note. I'm not sure if that's the malt or the hop as well. There's maybe a little bit of a bready uh, character coming from the malt. But uh smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice stuff. This particular beer starts out on the sweeter side. You get sweeter hot notes, sweeter malt character, and then the back end, it, it dries out and balances out with a lot of bitterness. And that's where you sort of get that more typical Columbus character. It's got that really piney, resiny character to it. But up front, it's like uh, those floral, wildflower honey notes, a sweeter orange, like a sweet ruby red grapefruit. Kind of get that up front. Nice sweet bread, biscuity notes. All that kind of goes in the middle and then just really transitions over. Has good bitterness to it. I believe they put this at like 77 IBUs. Yeah, 77 IBUs. So it's got some good bitterness to it. It's not overly bitter, uh, but it's definitely hot forward. There's a little, maybe a touch of a honey malt or maybe a light caramel malt that adds a nice little bit of a sweetness to it, but other than that, it's got your more typical, you know, West Coast style IPA characteristics. If you're wondering what Columbus is like on its own, it's a great IPA to get. It's a solid example of the style as well. It's got that typical West Coast character. A lot of a lot of beers are on the West Coast use Columbus either to bitter or they'll use it mixed in on the back end of the beer. And so the the characteristics are what you'd expect. And uh, yeah, if you're a home brewer, particularly check this one out. Uh, recommend it, it's really solid. Definitely if you're into the more, you know, danker hop characteristics, this is a, a beer you'll really enjoy on its own. I'm gonna go B plus on this one. The, the beer just doesn't have the complexity, you know, that some of the really excellent IPAs are out there, but it's, it's a great single hop IPA, so definitely worth checking out. It's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.